YouTube, this is Betty and welcome back to another video. I am here to share with you guys the Christmas card I created for the Gingerbread Christmas Collab. This collab is being hosted by Jamie, who is Poetic Spice, and there are also some awesome crafters um, joining in and participating in this collab. I will have a link below to all of their YT channels so you guys can hop along today and see what they have created for your inspiration. This collab is all about Christmas crafting and we are to create a Christmas themed project and come on every Monday in October at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. This collab started back in September and Jamie um, decided to extend the collab, which I'm really excited that she decided to do. And she decided to extend it through October as well. So let's just jump in. Also, you guys, as a reminder, in this video, I will announce a winner for my gingerbread tags. So stay tuned to the end of the video to see who has won. That winner will need to email me at scrappassion01 at yahoo.com and give me your mailing address and I will get your gingerbread tags out to you. So let's just get started. I'm going to share with you guys the products that I used to create my super cute card today. I wanted to play with the new Anna Griffin door dies. I was so excited when she showcased the door die. I just had to have them. I love Anna Griffin, anything Anna Griffin, and I had to have the door dies. So this is the die that I decided to play with this go round. It comes with two door dies, and I'll share the other one here in a second. But this is the one that I use. You guys can see just how beautiful that is. I love it. And then it also comes with the accessories to decorate your door. And I use this swag. And I use this right here. And I also use the little lamp post. And I also cut out the little topiary. But it was too much greenery for my card. So I decided to leave it off but this is what it looks like cut out super cute and of course this can be used you know in your scene cards i love it but yeah i decided not to use it because it was just too much greenery it also comes with two embossing folders so this is the one that i decided to play with it's called the stone wall pattern embossing folder and it also comes with the brick pattern but I decided to use the stone. And then here's the other door. So cute. Oh my God. Love it. And then I decided to pull out my matte foil um, card stock. So I used that. And then I used my 5x7, the B, um, uh, the matting basic B. And y'all are going to get so tired of seeing this, but this is my go-to. I love 5x7 cards. So I use the 5x7 Anna Griffin card base. And then I also use some Nouveau Drops. And I use, this is the, um, the Ivory Seashell. So I use some Nouveau Drops. And then I pulled out these um, Anna Griffin Mini Christmas and Sentiment Stickers. And then lastly, I use Tonic Studios um, Matte Black Cardstock. So let me share with you guys what inspired me um, or what inspired my card. And I use the inspiration sheet that comes with your dies, and this is the one that I was inspired by. I love that black and red. Oh my goodness, I just love it. I love all of them, but this is the one that caught my eye. So I wanted to recreate that. Um, I made just some subtle changes. Uh, for the most part, I kind of went with the picture here on the front. The only thing that's different about my card, of course, would be the sentiment in the center. So let me share my card with you. guys check out that card oh my goodness I love it it just looks so elegant 
and rich and I love it. And this dye is very, very versatile. You can use it for just about anything. Um, you can use it for all of the holidays and just decorate the door, you know, differently. And I love it and I cannot wait to create for every holiday. This would be cute in a baby theme. You can dress it up in a baby theme as well. Uh, Valentine's, um, anything, Halloween, um, Easter, all of those um, holidays you can use this dye. So that's, I like dyes that are very versatile and you can switch them up and use them for anything. So you can see all of the elements that I used and you can see the Nouveau Drops I just used as an element. So that's a little different um, on my card than the um, inspiration sheet. So I use the Nouveau Drops there in the center and also in the center of the bows. I use the sticker, the Merry Christmas. I just love that. I also use matte board throughout. So I have matte board, of course, behind the door because I didn't want my door to lay flat. I wanted it to lift up off of the card. So I have matte board behind this piece, behind this piece, and then I have some um, dimensionals down here at the bottom. And then I also use matte board behind the embossing of the stone wall. You can see how pretty that turned out. And then I use the uh, gold for my card base. So pretty, you guys. And then I use the matte in um, cardstock in the red as well as the green. And then I love in the inspiration sheet how it had the gold peeking out there. I like that. And let's see. Here's the inside of the card right here. Of course, I hadn't put my sentiment yet. But that's the inside. And here's the back. All right, so this is how my card turned out. I love it, you guys. And y'all are going to be seeing a lot uh, of those type cards in my future crafting. So that concludes my card share for this session of Gingerbread Christmas Collab. And now stay tuned to the end of the video and I'm going to announce the winner. Congrats to you. And please contact me within 48 hours, okay? If you don't contact me within 48 hours, I'm going to go ahead and select another winner. You know, in order to be fair and give everyone a chance. So until next time, make sure you always create with love and passion. Bye!